Hello everyone. So um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, basically visualize the LAMPS trajectory file and export it into a Gromax file, that GRO file, um, for uh, uh, for later usage. So what we're going to do, uh, the LAMPS is going to drop a uh, dump uh, trajectory file and uh, VK, we go extension and TK console. We have our TK console and we navigate to the location where the LAMPS data file is. So we have the we have the LAMPS data file here, system.data, and we also have the LAMPS trajectory file. So what we're gonna do right now, we uh, we first load the system.data file using a command topo, read LAMPS data, system.data, and then full. Then it loads uh, the structure of the molecules um, in our data file. It doesn't have any dynamic data uh, because the dynamic data are stored in the LAMPS trajectory file, uh, which is basically the position and velocity of every atom. But we need this structure, it's like a PDB file. The system.data is like a PDB file that has the bond information, structure information, and, and angular information so the LAMPS understands. Uh, which atom is connected to which one and what, what we're going to do after this we uh, right click on the system.data and load data and uh, then browse it and then we select uh, our trajectory file let's just load it it's going to take a while So, okay, uh, it ran to the completion and it read all the frames. Um, it was 20,000 frames and so it took a uh, couple of minutes to read it. So as you see, uh, now all the atoms are scattered in the domain, which uh, doesn't seem to be contained into a simulation box. That's because VMD using the um, and uh, un unwrapped uh, coordinates of the atoms. So what I'm going to do, what we need to do is to uh, just wrap the coordinates inside the box. So we use the command pbc wrap minus um, and this will constrain all the coordinates of the atoms inside the box. So yes, you see, uh, all the atoms are inside the box. So if you want to draw the box, just show the box where the box uh, boundaries are. PVC box, and you can you can check control the color. Uh, let's say white, and I'll throw width of the box. Um, let's say six. So you see here is it. You have the box here, and then let's try because it's a, it's the water molecules. Uh, the, the the line shows the water molecules and basically it's the water and methane. Let's do a graphic representation so we can control how to visualize it. I create a new representation of type uh, because uh, number one is for the methane molecule. So I put CPK and you see the methane into the system while the lines um, are the water molecules. There is a problem. So let's see. Uh, let's try to show the hydrogen bonding. Uh, between the water molecules, let's create another, create another representation and just choose the drawing method as hydrogen bonding and you see surprisingly you don't see any hydrogen bonding and there is a reason behind it and the reason is that because look at the name and the type so uh, 
a VMD doesn't recognize if they are oxygen or hydrogen. They just recognize there is there is number one, which is methane, number two, which is oxygen, number three is hyd hydrogen. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna we need to change this uh, to alphabet. So uh, two should become O, T should become H for hydrogen, so that VMD understands them and just uh, connects them together and and just detects the hydrogen bonding. So what we're gonna do? We just uh, use this command atom atom select and type top and type one. We know that uh, type one is methane, so we set name to C. As you see, it should be changed here. You see, one change to C. Let's copy paste the same command this time for oxygen. We know that type two is oxygen. And yeah, change to oxygen and type three. You you may notice that the color of the uh, molecules in the box is also changing. I set the uh, type T to hydrogen. Yeah, you see the name is changing and the color is consistent because here uh, for lines we select the coloring method name and the name comes from the uh, the dictionary that is inside the VMD so VMD knows. Uh, if it's oxygen should be red if it's hydrogen should be white it comes from there the coloring so the next thing we're gonna do we define a, a residue for the water so our water molecules uh, will be different from the uh, methane molecules so set h2o type 2 and 3 and after that uh, h2o set res name to soul you can you can set res name to anything um, it just depends on you so here it is so we are ready so uh, still you see that hydrogen bonding is not shown so but we can do something so we can we can save this into a GRO file and after we uh, we import the GRO file then we will be good so uh, let's do on frame number three so I save the coordinates or you can come here and right click and save coordinates and GRO and let's just do a single frame you don't need animation just a single frame I'll tell you why and um, just put a straight a strike to one and then all the molecules all the atoms and then save it so uh, save it uh, let's put it here like at uh, restart one I say uh, single frame CH4 water and don't uh, forget to put the to write the GR extension and then I save it okay it's already saved so what we're gonna do next uh, I'm gonna deactivate the visualization of the atoms for this molecule and then file new molecule and then I'm gonna uh, load the GRO file that we already loaded so it should be yeah yeah it's here single frame and open it and just load it yeah we have it here so let's create a representation the, the molecule we have the correct molecule single frame it's our molecule so then create representation and H bonds and you see you can see the all the H bond hydrogen bonds and you can change the color of the hydrogen bond if you ch choose the uh, color ID under coloring method and then here you can choose any color that you want to set your hydrogen bonding to. Let's choose green for example. Uh, under create representation you can do all other stuff. And remember here we don't have uh, the, the type and name are not 1, 2, 3. They are CHO. So if you want just uh, uh, CH4, the type, type C. And then set it to CPK. And then coloring method we can change it to orange. And you can do all of bunch of this stuff. And uh, every time, the next time you want to visualize the same simulation. So this was for the first time. For the first time, you need to read the data file first, and then load the trajectory files, and then uh, wrap the coordinates, and then uh, do all of these commands. So uh, instead of one, two, three, you have C O H, and then <coughs> export it 
or save it into a GRO file and then load the GRO file. But for the next time, you don't need to do all of this stuff. You just load your GRO file, which we already loaded. And the only thing you do, right click on the GRO file and load data into the molecules and navigate to where you have a trajectory file and just select it and just load it. And we just load the trajectory file um, into the system that you have. And then uh, it will still take some time. And uh, after that, after all, uh, you still see that when you every time you load the trajectory file, um, it is like unwra un unwrapped coordinates. So you need to wrap the coordinates using this command pbc wrap compound res all. So for the next time, so you do you do this for one time, you change uh, you, you load the system the data file, then you load the trajectory file inside into the molecule, then wrap the coordinates, then set some commands. So instead of CO, instead of one to three, you have COH into the file, and then define a res name sol for the water molecules, and then save it into a GRO file as a single frame. Then every time, every next time, you just imp, uh, you just open that GRO file and just load the trajectory. If your if your trajectory is changing. Uh, for any number, for any uh, any different times. So uh, for next time, your GR for your lamp trajectory file is for for longer uh, simulation time. So you just come here, load this uh, single frame molecule, and just uh, load it, load data into the molecule, and just select the different trajectory file. As long as your system has the same number of molecule, and molecule are the same, atoms are the same, and everything looks uh, like it was before. Uh, thank you. Uh, and by the way, uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you liked it.